I have three anchor points that I need to include in this setup. One, two, three, and I'm gonna run my cord through each of them before I anchor it down over here on the left hand side. To set the anchor, I'm gonna take my long end and put a lark's foot into it, just like that. And then I'm gonna take a bite of my free end and I'm gonna string it through and then pull it tight. Again, battle speed, just slip it through, lark's foot, run a bite, pull it tight, and there you go. Now that's going to be plenty strong when I put it under tension. It's also going to be easy to undo when it's time to take this apart. Same method from before, got my cowabunga sign, going to go around my pinky, then around my thumb, and what that gives me is a little loop inside of a big loop. I'm going to pass a little loop from behind, and then pull it in front, and pull everything tight. There we go. There. So the first time I showed you this, I had you take this free end and run it through this loop and then run it all the way through, do another coil, run it all the way through and pull it tight. But a lot of you folks said, hey, what about all this extra rope you need to run through? Here's how to get past that. So you're gonna do the same exact thing. You're gonna take a bite and pull it through, right? You have all this extra here, but this is your tension side that you're dealing with. All you're gonna do is with your tension side, same thing, run it through again, and then you're gonna pull this one tight. I want to put more tension in this, so I'm going to do a Marlin spike and use a 3 8 extension as a handle. Here we go. So now I'm left with this big loop here. All I'm going to do is treat it like a single piece of rope and put it into a half hitch around one of the strands. There we go. This other end, I'm just going to pull the slack out of it. Of course, dress it up, make sure everything's nice. So that's how this looks. Just have a little loop here. And then if we follow this line down, you'll see that it's attached to all the paracord we need to figure it out. Now, if this was the back of your truck bed, you could just throw this down in the bed or put something over it. But what I'm gonna do is take it and tie it onto this part of the rig. This looks like a convenient place to put it. So I'm just gonna put it underneath. And then I'm gonna use the free end of it to tie it on to these two strands. This last part of the free end, I'm just gonna run it through this loop again, and I'm gonna barrel knot it to this strand. Okay, this will hold just fine. 